So this is gonna be a very short video showing you how to remove your cowl on a 2006 F-250 Super Duty. So I've already done that side. It is very simple. So you'll wanna bend this all the way up and right here, you're gonna see a tiny little clip that you're gonna push out. And it'll take you two hands, but you'll grab one hand there, one here, and just pull directly up. So let me see if I can get it with one hand oh there you go so that one actually worked out with one hand so very simple to remove so i'm gonna set that bad boy over here with the other stuff that we're taking off and then we got a bunch of phillips bit one two three four five six seven eight i think there's about nine of them or so obviously they're phillips bit come out relatively easy not bad at all to get out so pull these bad boys out We'll do the same. Pretty easy. Make sure you don't lose these guys. It's not fun having to run to the hardware store and having to make sure you get the right one. These look like they're pretty universal. These don't look like they're any fancy or crazy little screws. So if you're like me and you have a bull antenna, you might have to remove that so you get some added clearance. Their next step is gonna be raising up the hood and pulling out these little plastic push pins. There's gonna be a few of them running down there. So I'm not using anything crazy to get these things out. All I'm using is just a little Pittsburgh Harbor Freight flathead, but it's got a little angle, so it's pretty nice to get underneath there and help pop them up. But if you actually got one of those tab pullers, you're a smarter man than I am. So I'm just getting it underneath this, pulling it up a little bit once I got enough. I get underneath this cowl and this piece of metal kind of like this and I basically pry up till that bad boy comes out. This is a huge Ford thing. These things just get so hot and brittle and just end up breaking over time from the heat of the motor. So since this one's already hot, brittled, and it's cracked all to hell throughout the hood, I don't really care to finish breaking this one off because there's not really any saving. You can literally see this, this is all just already loose. That was already broken there, so that's not even holding on. So now to move on down the rest, this one's actually already gone, so we're basically done with this. Got this one out. It'll take a little bit of finagling just to get past this little ridge right here, but it comes up pretty easy. And uh, once you get it pulled out, this is your little windshield wiper sprayer. So just set that aside. Don't forget about it. Put him over here. Come over here to this one. It's gonna be attached to your little hose. You can kind of see where it's supposed to go. So just unattach it from there. I'm gonna move down to that side and undo that as well. We got a mess down here. So underneath here, you can see where the other plug's at. That just ends up pulling out. That's another one of your sprayers. Follow the body of this. And here's gonna be the end of the hose that you'll unplug from this bad boy here. So then we'll just Pull this through the other end and your hose is just free hanging and this second piece comes out so you just got to raise the end just to get it over the antenna and it slides out I know this looks like a bunch of little steps but it really isn't that bad so I don't want to lose this hose so we're gonna go ahead wrap it up I'm gonna tuck it in here for now so I don't forget about it and come back to it because I don't want to get lost in the engine, babe. I would recommend cleaning out this nasty sludge because who knows the next time you're going to be in here. So make sure you go through, clean this whole thing out, detail her real nice and good, and uh, I'm sure your truck would appreciate it. So at first look, it doesn't look like it's in that bad condition, but this side on the other end is pretty bad. The plastic's very brittled. It was cracking even with just the slightest amount of pressure. So I'm gonna post a link down below in the description and show you guys where you can get this. Now I'm pulling my cowl off because I'm gonna actually be paint matching this truck. Oh yeah, can't forget about this. So yeah, you don't wanna lose this. This is a little seal that goes around your inside cowl, but that'll go with the wiper so I don't forget about it. But yeah, this is all gonna get paint matched headlights and everything. I needed to get this cowl out. It's honestly pretty simple. I, I would think actually the hardest part about taking this thing out is just getting past this little one deal and probably getting the wipers off. Other than that, 
four plastic little push bins through here. You got, I think it was nine Phillips screws. And then all this was simple little lever you had to push to unlock it, pulled straight out. And then of course, you had your hoses that you had to unplug from the driver and passenger side. It's really not difficult to do this. That probably took me like 10 minutes to take off. And if I wasn't actually doing this video, it probably would have took me like five to get it completely off. So I hope that helps. Check the description and there you'll find the link on where I got my replacement cowl. Also, I just want to include if you are a 99 to 2007 F250, Make sure you check out my link tree because on there I have a bunch of modifications that will mount onto these. In the description on there I have the link for my rock lights. I'll have the link for the valence. I'll have the link for the grill. Cheap mods for things you can do to your F250. So make sure you check that out in the link below.